All right, so we want to set up phone numbers. Now I'm going to have a much deeper IVR phone like lesson later, but let's just start very basic, right? So we want to add a phone number and you can see right when you pop in this A2P 10 DLC requirement, what is that? I'm sure you got in all those car warranty calls or those text messages. They're creating more and more regulations around phone calls. So your business needs to prove that it's legit, that they're not spamming. And there's things that we're going to want to know as we move forward on how to keep that kind of, let's call it the credit of the business in good standing. We want to keep a good credit score, which means I could send more messages and more often. And we're going to get into that. But for right now, let's just go through some of the basics. So obviously we have a start now button here. I'll walk you through this a little bit. I won't be able to fully do it. I probably could because this is a legit business, but let's just go ahead and kind of look here. Um, so brand campaign, it's unverified. It looks like, let me move my stuff here. So I want to register now. Uh, is your business? Yes, it is legal. Do you have an EIN? Yes, I do. Business details. So I can just say I prefer area contractors, LLC. Now I don't happen to have my information here. So I would need to put in my EIN number, blah, 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 and go through this. Essentially, you go through and very simply put in your business information, your address, your contact info. That's pretty simple to do and continue, right? Very simple. You want to do that. Now, brand SMS, this is coming soon, coming soon. This is a STIR cost free increase answer rates, start registration. So this is going to create, this is basically when you get a call and it pops up with that name that's not in your directory and it says like call from boss of solutions, this is where that's done. So you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to go ahead and set up your business information. And this is very good to do. Your CNAM, call ID, this is also showing up there. So this is for a cost-free way to increase the answer rates, cost-free increase answer rates. I would do all these. There's really no problem in doing them. You want to make sure that those are done. It's all under the trust center here. Your usage summary. That just gives you your, your use, your regulatory bundles. What is a regulatory bundle? We'll get into that later. Don't worry about it too much. Advanced settings. If you want to change who your uh, provider is, which may be an option, I suggest to stick to Lead Connector for the time being. There's really not a better alternative. Lead Connector, by the way, in the background is Twilio. They buy a bulk rate. They resell it to you at a rate lower than them, but I'm sure there's a margin that they're making in there, which God bless them. Let them, everyone's here for profit. Go ahead and do their thing but you'll be able to use that and the quality is good and the uptime is good and I like it. So I would stick to that. Manage your numbers. Now here, what we're going to need to do is create our phone number. So let's go ahead and create a phone number real quick. So it says add a phone number, add phone number pool or add verified call ID used for call ID masking. So what we're going to do very simply for now is we're just going to add a phone number and pretty simple. I'm going to get rid of that guy here. We happen to be in Texas in this case, but let's say we want to go through here. I can filter and you can see, let's say I wanted to have a certain number of digits. So if I want a uh, boss up in there, maybe I want to type in the boss up digits or whatever. But in my case, I'm going to look for something in Texas probably. So I'm going to say, I want a 972 number, let's just say any part number, first part of number. And I'm going to apply that and it's going to go through and it's going to pull up a bunch of numbers, right? So there's a bunch of phone numbers and I want to go through and find a phone number. Now, here's the thing. You can advertise this number, or perhaps this is the number where calls are being routed from and to. You need to figure that out because if this number is blind and nobody really sees it, I can pick any one of these numbers and I could care less. But if it's going to be public and I want to put it on my business cards or anything like that, I probably want to create it a little bit better and take a little time in hunting down the number. And if I can't see a number I like, I can refresh the results and I'll just go grab another batch. And depending on your area, this may create better or worse batches for you. You can go through and be like, I don't like these. I'm going to go through and refresh it again and just take a look. And it's telling me the town that is showing. So maybe I want to be a little bit more on a particular town. But at the end of the day, it is still the 972 number. I don't like any of these right now. I go through and not that it's actually a real, not really setting up, but I don't like it. So I want to like continue looking. It doesn't take away any time for me. Nevada, Texas, Farmer's Branch, Prosper, 7485, that's not horrible. So I can live with the 7485 and, and it's giving me that, right? Now I proceed to buy. And what it's going to do is go ahead and let me purchase this number. 
and that number is there and number chosen. If I want to edit this, I can go in and add the number here, but let's go ahead and go back to the main page. Now, when you come here, you'll be able to do this and edit configuration. So the call connect feature requires a receiver to press a, a input, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So for right now, let's just say I want all the calls from here to forward to my cell phone. Pretty simple. I can just put in my cell phone number and everything's going to forward to me. I'd already added the plus one and everything for me. So anyone calling this number is just going to go to my cell phone while I set things up because I'm not ready to make this live yet. That's probably how I want to have it for now. Pass call number is car ID. What this means is instead of showing the real car ID of whoever called, show me this number. That could be good if you want to say office call. And now you know that everything this is an office call you can pick up, right? And that may be very useful if you do it properly. So that's something you might want to do. I'm going to skip that. Use a verified number for caller ID for outbound calls. In this, you got to have a verified number. We will do that later. For now, let's not worry about it. Enable call connect feature. So call connect feature is basically where it's saying, I have to press a key. Press any key to connect this call. I don't want that. I, but maybe I want that because I want to know, because since I'm using the other car ID, Maybe that's my way of filtering and saying, oh, it's a message that says press one to connect, but I don't want to connect. I'm busy right now. Not a good time to take an office call. I'll let it go. So that could be something I could leave on. A whisper message could be call from, so I could be like sales call because this is my sales line, right? So it's going to whisper to me sales call, right? And I could put information in here like that. That's something we could do. Now, another thing I want, want to do is, and I definitely suggest, is I want to record all my calls. This call will be recorded for quality purposes. I'm okay with that. Oh, it's better. The space bar. See how everything went away? It's recording. Now, remember, when you don't announce the recording, you're going to have to check your local laws and regulations. But just understand that unless you're using it internally, externally using this recording is probably not good for you. Just putting that out there. Incoming call timeouts, and we're going to get more into this later, but for right now, I'm just going to put in 60 and 60, and I'll explain these to you guys later. Don't worry about it too much. And if I want to call, let's say I want everything to call John Doe, that's what I would do there and click that, but I don't. So those are the informations. I save my settings and voila, we have a phone number. And again, it would be better if I went through these settings and started setting up this trust center stuff, because that's going to be very important. And I believe it's at a point now where you won't even be able to send out a single text message if you don't have that set up. So go ahead and do it. It takes a couple of days and we'll have a uh, small training on that as well available because when you submit it, you want to make sure you submit it properly. So we'll show you how to submit it. But if you use common sense, it will work for you. If you don't use common sense, you will probably need more help. If you need assistance, you can ask our team. We might be able to help you. We can help you and get that stuff going all right cool so we've set that up and those are numbers real quick number pools are going to be numbers that you set up for tracking stuff like i want my signage to go to this number i want my flyers to go to this number i want my tv commercial to go to this number radio commercial to this number more so more importantly you're going to use this on sites like landing pages right like a landing page can have it'll still show my actual phone number but when you click it it calls a different number so that's a better way of tracking. So think about this more from a landing page or website perspective or online ads. That's where this becomes super powerful. What's working or what's not. The other example I gave you of some of those other things are great and they can be done, but now you're printing that number elsewhere, which is not really the idea. Although people do use it that way and we'll go into that. Verify caller IDs. These will pop up once we verify our caller ID. So that's what we got there and we'll go from there. All right. So next we're going to get into WhatsApp and for WhatsApp, I'm going to tell you if you're in the United States, which most of us should be, this is probably not useful for you right now. This is surprisingly, I boss up is located in, down in Mexico in Guadalajara. Surprisingly, WhatsApp through Guadalajara, super popular. I traveled a lot to India, to Saudi Arabia, to the Middle East, et cetera. Very popular Europe, very popular. WhatsApp is pretty much popular everywhere in the world, except the United States. Not something you need at the moment. I wouldn't really press you to do anything with it unless you feel there's a need. We'll probably do some sort of training on it later. As we get through, I'll go through some of the other ones and we'll get started. But that's what we have for the phone and hopefully that helps you get set up.